Hey, this is Rod from Ram City, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the slow old factory hard drive to a solid state drive in this Dell Vostro laptop. Um, before we get started, two main things you need to do is uh, disconnect the machine from the power, and also uh, you need to shut the machine down. So this isn't just a hibernate, you need to um, select shut down on whichever operating system you've got, make sure the machine is completely powered off. Uh, you'll need an anti-static mat, so I like to use this really big one, but we do have smaller sizes. Uh, anti-static wrist strap, which will connect to the mats. Um, you're likely going to need a couple of Phillips screwdrivers, so for um, all the screwdriver stuff, I always use the iFixit 54-bit driver kit for that, it's got all the different bits that you need. You're of course going to need your uh, solid state drive. Now in this video we're just doing the hardware upgrade. If you want to know how to clone the data from your existing factory drive, then we've got a separate video for that for you and you can see that one right here. And I should point out actually that the, the reason why we're using this anti-static mat and the wrist strap is to protect all of our equipment from electrostatic discharge. And if you want to learn more about electrostatic discharge, you can have a look at this video here. So this particular laptop has a uh, battery that's pretty easy to remove. And if yours is the same, it's a good idea to take the battery out. So I just need to release this lock here and I can slide the battery out. And to get access to the drive bay on this laptop, there are two screws here. So I'm going to get out my PH00 bit for that. Now this cover just needs to be uh, wriggled a little bit. So you lift up one end slightly and then just wriggle it out from the other end. And this is where our hard drive is. All right, so to get this hard drive out, and there aren't actually any uh, fastening brackets or anything on it, we've just got to wriggle it out. So this is the serial ATA connector here. And to remove it, just give it a little bit of a nudge. If you had a spudger, you could get that in there and lever it out gradually. So that's the original hard drive. And we'll put our brand new SSD in there. And we'll just wriggle it in, make sure that it's really firmly seated. And that's in there. And we can put the cover back on. Put our Phillips screws back in. And then we can reinstall our battery. That's it, job done. Now because I cloned my solid state drive from my factory drive before, I can just press the power button and boot up to my brand new, much faster solid state drive. And just in case you missed the section in the earlier part of the video, you can have a look at this video if you want to learn more about how to clone your existing drive. That's all there is for this installation video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Yeah? Yeah, the, that, that's all I've got for you now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's okay. Stop it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah are you sure? Actually, give us one more.